Hi everyone, I'm Tasha from It's A Yoga Vibes and today we are going to do a gentle vinyasa yoga flow. This is quite the soothing yoga flow for you can try, you can do it if you're not feeling well, if your joints are, or if you're, okay. Hi everyone, I'm Tasha from Issa Yoga Vibes and today we are going to have a nice, soothing, gentle vinyasa yoga flow. So if you have your straps, your pillows and blankets, whatever you need to make you feel comfortable, please by all means grab everything because we are going to just be relaxed super relaxed. Um, this is more so for you to be a little more comfortable in your flexibility. You can do it if you're not feeling too well, if your body is aching or your body feels a little bit tight. You can even do it at night for a bedtime yoga or early in the morning as you're trying to raise up from the bed, you can do a few of these stretches and get your body ready and prepared and geared up for the day. So if you're ready and you have all your props with you, meet me on the mat in easy pose. So, Let's just start here. You can soften your gaze. And let's begin by breathing in through the nose deeply with a four count. So breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold and breathe out. One, two, three, four. Let's breathe again, breathing in. Hold, one, two, three, four. And let's breathe out. One, two, three, four. Now let's just try to tense up and relax our body as we breathe in and out. So starting with the forehead, just tense your head. Breathe in and hold, one, two, three, four. Breathe out, relax the forehead, one, two, three, four. Now let's tense the jaw lines. Breathe in, one, two, three, four. Breathe out and let's relax everything. One, two, three, four. Let's move on to the shoulders, bringing it up towards the ears, holding here, breathing in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out, allowing everything to drop, allowing everything to roll off the shoulders. One, two, three, four. Let's do the spine, breathing in and holding, tensing. One, two, three, four. Breathe out, allowing everything to roll off the spine. Dropping your shoulders. One, two, three, four. Breathing in, let's tense up the hips. Hold, one, two, three, four. Breathe out, relaxing the shoulders, the jaw lines, the forehead, the hips. Allowing everything to roll on to the mat. One, two, three, four. Let's tense up the thighs, hold here. One, two, three, four. Relax, breathe out. One, two, three, four. 
Plus tense up the calves. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out, let everything roll off of your bodies. One, two, three, four. Now tense up the soles of the feet and hold. One, two, three, four. And let's allow everything to just roll, roll, roll off the mat. And one, two, three, four. Now let's just do some natural breathing. Checking in with your body, seeing how every part of your body feels now as you tense and hold everything and relax. Check in with your crown, check in with your heart, check in with your spine and your hips and your legs and the soles of your feet. How does your body feel after doing that breathing exercise? Sometimes we can just do a few breathing exercises just so that we can come back to our center, kind of adjust from a stressful situation, going into a relaxed state of mind. And once you're finished taking inventory of your body, let's begin to flutter, open our eyes, and we're gonna go into a twisted fire log pose. So from here, we're just going to start by bringing our right ankle above <clears throat> the left knee, excuse me, allowing your left ankle to go below the right knee. This is our fire log pose. And now we're gonna bring both of our hands up parallel to the mat and begin to turn our hearts towards the right side of the room, kick standing both of our hands, one in front and one behind us. You can send your gaze all the way to the right shoulder. And we're just gonna breathe and hold here for a few breaths. Breathing into that deep stretch along the spine. If you feel any kind of pain or tension, you can always adjust your body to that soothing position. If you want a little more stretch, you can just kickstand your right hand behind you and plant your left hand onto your right knee Sending your gaze as far behind your back as possible. We're just taking some deep breaths. And on your next inhale, let us return Back to center, bringing up both, both of our hands parallel to the mat. And now let's turn towards the right, the left side, kick standing your hands, one in front and one behind you. And you can always send your gaze towards your left shoulder for that added stretch. And we're just going to hold here for a few more breaths. Breathing in deeply from the nose and allowing the body, the air to release from the body through the mouth. With every exhale, allowing your body to release all the tension that you may be carrying along your spine and along your hips. Making any adjustments if you need. And 
And let's inhale and return back to center. Having our arms parallel to the mat, we can begin to plant both of our hands onto the mat. And then release our legs, giving it a little shake, bringing some movement and some blood flow throughout our bodies and our legs. Flexing and stretching the toes. And now we're going to go back into an easy pose. And we're going to go into a forward fold bend, but we're going to bring it to the side. So let's begin by walking our hands directly in front of us until our crowns are close to the mat as possible. <clears throat> and now let's start by walking our hands towards the right side of the mat and allowing your head to lower onto your knee. If you need to bring the floor or you know your knee closer to you, you can always add your block to place it underneath your crown. So let's just hold here for a few breaths. You're welcome to do our deep breathing or our natural breath, but just pay attention to how your body feels. If you feel any tension at any time, allow yourself to release, or you can always bring yourself back to center and add your block here, if you like. And let's just hold here for a couple of more breaths. Let's inhale and walk our hands back towards our bodies, lifting our crowns and our hearts upright. And now we're going to, I'm just going to move my block over to the left side of the room. Let's begin to walk our hands back out directly in front of us. And then walk in our hands towards the left side of our bodies, bringing our blocks closer. You can even add it over here on top of your knee. If you notice that one side of your body feels a lot tighter than the other, so just add your block or your pillow to better support you. And on your next inhale, we're going to begin by walking our hands back towards our bodies, allowing our crowns and hearts to come back to a neutral position. And now we're just going to do some shoulder exercises. Uh, if you notice that you carry a lot of tension on your shoulders, you even carry your books, your bags, the tablets, your phones, everything you may carry on to your shoulders. So let's just show our shoulders some love. We're going to bring our shoulders up to our ears and breathe in. Breathe out and allowing our shoulders to drop all the way down. Breathe in, bringing our shoulders up to our ears. Breathe out, allowing our shoulders to drop down, melting everything onto the mat. Let's do this a couple more times. Breathing in, bringing your shoulders all the way up to the ears. Breathe out, dropping the shoulders, allowing everything to melt away. Let's do it one more time, bringing your shoulders up all the way to the ears, breathing in. And let's release everything, releasing the air from our lungs, dropping the shoulders towards the mat, adding some movement here. And now we're going to grab our strap and do a shoulder stretch. 
using our strap. So let's breathe in and bring our hands up to the sky. You're welcome to send your gaze up along with it. And breathe out. We're just going to lower it to our heart's level. Breathe in. Bringing our hands up. Breathe out. Bringing our hands down to heart level. Let's do this a few more times. Breathing in. Breathing in that stretch. Breathing out. Relax into heart center. Let's breathe in. Lifting our gazes up along with our arms. Allowing abundance to come towards us. Let's breathe out, dropping all that stress, all that angst, all the worries. Allowing it to push away from our hearts. A couple of more times, breathing in abundance and releasing all of the stress. Breathe in abundance and breathe out, dropping the stress onto the mat. And we're going to work on our rotator cuff. So let's breathe in. I'm just going to extend my strap to allow some movement. So we're going to bring our strap above our heads. And we're going to bring out, breathe out, bringing our strap below, below us. So kind of uh, stretching and rotating and massaging our rotator cuff, which is basically behind our backs onto our shoulder blades. So by doing this stretch, we kind of release that tension and working on our flexibility, allowing ourselves to breathe in as we lift and breathing out as we lower our strap. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and this time we'll lower our strap onto the mat. Now we're going to do an overhead shoulder stretch pose. So I'm just going to turn around so that you can see what I'll be doing behind my back. So we're going to first start by taking our right hand and bringing it towards the middle of our back. And then take the left hand and grab it, grab your right elbow, bringing it closer to your ear. And as you bring it closer to your ear, you feel your hand kind of deepen the stretch all the way to the middle of your spine. And we're just going to hold here for a few breaths. So I'm going to show you again from the front in case you wasn't able to hear me. So let's start with our right hand, bringing it to the middle of our backs so or our neck. Take our left hand, bring it to the outside of our right elbow and kind of guide it towards our right ear, allowing your hand to kind of slide to the middle of our shoulder blades and we're going to hold here beginning to feel that stretch along your shoulders and your arms let's release ourselves 
and then do this on the left side bringing your left hand towards your neck taking your right hand to the left elbow bringing it closer to the ear breathing in the stretch making any adjustments that you may need This is also great. You can do this while you're sitting at your desk at work. Let's release ourselves. Bring both of our hands onto the mat. This next stretch you can also do at your desk. You can also do right before you get out of bed or before you go to sleep. But we're going to lift both of our hands up to the sky. Then bring our hands just gently right behind our backs. Engaging our abdomen, abdominal, I'm sorry, engaging our bellies. You could bring your thumb around the neck and kind of add a little massage here along the neck and the shoulders. kind of allowing your arms and the hands to stretch behind your back. And now we're just going to release ourselves, bringing our hands back onto the mat and allowing ourselves to just gather our natural breathing. Checking in with your body, taking inventory, seeing how you feel. And now we're going to do a different type of shoulder stretch. So first let's go into Thunderbolt pose, which basically is that you're going onto your knee. I'm going to grab my bolster and place it under my knees because I'm feeling a little achy on my knees today. So you're welcome to grab whatever you need. But we're just going to basically have our hips going over our heels and then we could bring both of our hands out in front of us and slide it behind our backs and then lift up. We're going to lift our hearts to the sky and kind of grasp black um, gather both of our fingers intertwine it together and add in a little back bend stretching our hands behind us if you want to add an extra stretch you can attempt to bring your hands as close to your heels as possible. You can always lower your hips back towards your feet. And let's add the stretch. And let's inhale and we're gonna release ourselves, bringing our hands in front of us and allowing our spines to round towards the back of the room, pushing our hands directly in front of us, kind of showing our spines that extra love on both sides. And now let's return to center and we're going to go into a one leg let me just move this out the way. A one leg bow pose. So we're gonna go onto our bellies and then bend our knee, bringing our foot, our uh, left foot as close to our hips as possible. 
bringing our forearms onto the mat as if we are in sphinx pose. And then when you're ready, you can slide your left hand to grab your left foot. And we can hold here. Feel that nice stretch along the thighs. If you want, you can always grab your strap, put it around your foot, and achieve the same pose here. As you continue to practice, you can uh, attempt to lift your leg up into a full boat pose. When you're ready, you can begin to release yourself and let's do that on the right side of your body. So again, we're going to go back into a sphinx pose, bend the right knee, send in your foot as close to your hips as possible. And when you're ready, you can begin to bring your right hand to meet your right foot. You can either hold your toe or your ankle. And if you want that added stretch, you can begin to lift your knee off the floor or the mat into a full boat pose. Again, you're welcome to grab your strap, put that around your foot. Let's return back to our bellies and just kind of gently pull your hand towards the front of the mat so that you can give yourself that added stretch along the leg. Let's inhale and begin to release ourselves. I am going to be moving my strap out of the way we're going to keep both of our hands above our heads and begin to roll towards the left side of the room. Let's bring our right foot towards our crown in a recline head to toe pose. You may grab your strap and place that underneath the sole of your foot and begin to pull so that it can help you bring your legs as close to your crown as possible. If you're feeling any pain or tension along your hamstring, just loosen your grip and bring it back to that comfort spot. And again, as we keep practicing this over and over again, you'll begin to feel the flexibility. This will, um, the tension along your legs will dissipate. And this will be a more fun pose for you. But let's breathe in and begin to release ourselves. You can switch your strap to your left leg. Inhale and let's bring the leg back towards our crown and we can hold here. And if you want, you can also, or if you don't have your strap, you can always bring your hands towards your calf or towards your ankle. But let's just hold here just a couple more breaths.
now we're going to breathe in and begin to release ourselves. To add a little shake to the legs. And now we're going to turn towards the right side of our bodies. So let's bring our right hand up and roll over on your right side. Now first we are going to do our side stretch leg lift. So let's grab your toe and bring your legs up. If you can't bring, um, grab your toe from here, you can always hold on to your ankle or you're welcome to grab your strap. And just hold here. Just allowing your legs to get a nice deep stretch from here as well. Now on our next inhale, we are going to lower our left leg and do the right side. So first, we can lift our leg here and hold here. Or if you want, you can grab onto your toe and hold here as well. Now notice how one side is a little more flexible than the other, and that's okay. We need to work on both sides of the body. You're also welcome, as usual, to grab your strap. and try to bring it as close to the crown as possible. Let's inhale and lower our legs to meet each other. And then we're going to roll back on to our bellies. And just breathe here for a few breaths. And now we're going to go into another um, shoulder stretch with a butterfly leg. So first, we're going to bring both of our hands above our heads. And then I want you to take your right hand. You know what? I'm going to show you on this arm. So. We're going to take our left hand and tee it out to the outside of the mat. And while we're here, we're going to begin to roll or slide our hands out further towards the left and roll our bodies onto our sides. You can use your right hand to take stand in front of you and then take your left hand your right knee to bend it, planting your foot directly in front of your left leg. Let's plant our crown onto the mat and we can hold here. 
for a few breaths. Now, I just want to show you what that looked like in the, um, to the front. So I'm going to take my right hand this time and tee it out to the right side, the outside of the mat. And I'm going to slide my hand out, allowing my body to roll along with it until the side of my body is onto the mat. Taking my left hand to T-stand it onto the mat and my right foot. I'm going to plant it directly in front of, take my left foot to plant it directly in front of the right leg and just hold here. Just breathe into that nice stretch. Now we're just going to inhale and begin to release ourselves, allowing our cells to roll on to our belly, bringing your <clears throat> right hand back to the center of the mat, <clears throat> coming back into our sphinx pose. And let's try this again on the other side of your body, so T stand or tee out the side that you didn't do before and begin to slide it out, allowing your body to roll onto the side as you're gliding your hand out. Take your T-stand hand to directly in front of your heart, bend your right knee or your other knee and plant that in front of your legs. And just hold here for a few breaths. And let's inhale and release ourselves, rolling our bodies back onto our bellies. And then continue to roll all the way until we get onto our back. And we'll begin Savasana. You can grab your pillows or bolsters and place it wherever you want if you want it underneath your crown and your heart. You can do that. You can place it underneath your legs, underneath your hips, underneath your knees, wherever you want to place it. But we did such a good job stretching our bodies and allowing all that tension to release onto the mat so we deserve this time for us. So we're just going to take a few breaths and let's take inventory of our body, starting with the crown, relaxing the frow brows on your forehead, relaxing the jaw lines, checking in with our necks, how does it feel? How does the shoulders feel? Allow the shoulders to fall directly onto the mat, allowing everything to roll off the shoulders and the spine and the hips and the knees. 
all the way to the soles of the feet, continuing to breathe deeply. So we're going to begin to bring movement back to our bodies and return to our normal activity. But first, let's just begin by wiggling our toes, kind of flexing and pointing out the toes and bringing some movement to our ankles. To bring it into a circular motion going in one direction and then the other. Just tensing and relaxing our calves and our thighs and our hips. Just roll up our knees, planting our feet, taking our hands, planting it on to the mat, allowing us to push ourselves up until our crowns and our hearts are upright. Just breathing in here for a few more breaths, Allow, allowing our bodies and the blood to flow throughout our bodies, allowing our air from our lungs to circulate to the rest of the body. And now we'd like to <clears throat> 
And I would like to leave you with these words to begin to reframe our thoughts, reframe our words, and to take better care of our hearts and the people that surround us. Taking a deep breath. And I would like to thank you for joining me today in the Subin Vinyasa Flow. I hope this helped you as much as it has helped me. And I'll see you in the next class.